We are in an area, a geological area, called the Northern Alloctan, which can be best described as porridge when it's wet. Hence, rain is the number one enemy in Northland, not only for the rail infrastructure, but also for our roading infrastructure. 200 kilometres of track, a lot of which was damaged in the last two storm events. We had over 220 individual damaged sites. Over 30 of those are major sites. We've got massive underslips, massive overslips. Hence we are having to have to do is some extensive geological investigations before we can actually finalise the plans to stabilise that area. Within Kiwira we have this mantra, getting lines open and having trains running is one of the key things. But this one's a little bit different because of the, um, the nature of the damage. We've had several challenges in the fact that we've involved a number of um, delivery parties. So we have seven contractors, five consultants, a number of project managers and you'll appreciate that makes a bit of a matrix of people involved with delivering the work. That was a challenge early on. Now that we're well in the construction phase, access is the biggest issue here. It's very difficult for contractors A, to get to the sites and B, to be able to deliver their works in a reasonable time frame, even though we're right in the middle of the North Island. And so the road access, it's probably about half an hour back to State Highway 16 and about the same to State Highway 1. On East Coast, there's a lot of enabling works associated with each site. The project started when the weather events first kicked off in January, February of 2023. Immediately the key rail crews sort of went out and repaired what they could. We then had to get the geotechnical contractors on board to do the investigations throughout 23. The rain continued and a lot of the sites were quite difficult to get to and it wasn't actually safe to do that geotech for a number of months. Well, most of them are being reviewed and signed off at the moment. So uh, we've got some out the door already and as you can see, you've seen some work underway. Uh, One New Zealand have a fibre optic cable that runs from 88 kilometres to 148 kilometres on the North Auckland line. It's very close to the track and a number of the repairs could not be completed without that cable being relocated. So we've been moving that uh, offline towards the edge of the key rail property boundary to allow us to do the excavations and repairs and then it'll be moved back to its permanent position later. The North Auckland line goes through a lot of native flora and fauna habitat areas. There's a lot of vegetation and we've had to be careful in how we approach the works. That's involved lizard surveys, fish surveys, relocation things. We've even found swamp paria out on the site just before Christmas who were nesting on the ground. You don't see progress on the ground immediately. There's a lot of planning goes into, a, into an exercise like this. Um, it's important to, uh, to work your way through methodically and, and um, get a good job because this track is an important one for Kiwi Rail and needs to remain open all year round.